What do you think that is? I think that's a skull? A human skull? A brand new spot today and I uh, have not found anything. I've been looking for like an hour. Got about 100 acres though, so um, I'm hopeful. I saw a bunch of junk over here underneath the bridge. <laughs> Looks like an old homeless camp or some type of camp. Been broken up for a while. Jeez. Man, I cannot imagine living here underneath the interstate highway. Don't see any bodies? Don't see any bones sticking out, do you? Jeez, what a mess. Uh -uh -uh. Well, that's my uh, one big discovery so far today. I'm actually in an area where there's a lot of Civil War activity, so I'm hoping to get into at least a small camp, but not having any luck yet. But we'll keep going. Day's not over. Here's a beautiful old spring. Well, the remains of a spring house on the property. <sighs> That's pretty neat. If you look here, you got the stone walls, and it's got concrete on top, so you know it was abandoned not that long ago. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful spring. You can see the water pouring up out of there and All kinds of bubbles coming up. That's probably from methane or decomposing vegetation down in there uh, If you look off to the side here where, where my detector is you can see this trough This is where they would put the milk cans and things that they wanted to keep cool right in here uh, So it's like a refrigerator And uh, probably had another one here so some sort big trough right here Go over here and see where the water's coming out. Coming out of the bank, I guess, back in here somewhere. Here, here. that's a pull tab. I don't want to dig that. Yeah, but I guess it's coming out from underneath this tree right here, somewhere in this area. And uh, really emerging right there. Look for mini balls and arrowheads, but I haven't seen any today. In fact, I'm still skunked. I've been out here for about an hour and a half. Found nothing old that, you know, was actually worth keeping or putting in a display case. <laughs> Oh well. Well, I got my first keeper find. I mean, it's not like fantastic, but it's a cool little hammer. I'm not sure what kind that it is. I mean, it's not a uh, it's not a typical modern hammer, that's for sure. Pretty neat, huh? I like it. Not quite on the books, but close. Just getting ready to fill a hole in. I happen to glance off to my side. And there's a deer antler over there. A shed, I reckon. So we might as well pick it up too. That's a cute little one, yeah. <laughs> you can't get out of the bushes. That's fresh. This year's. I like it. I have seen a lot of deer rubs on the trees in this uh, on this farm. I uh, haven't really been looking for these. I guess we better start doing that. I like collecting them. I just kind of stumbled upon an old home site on the property. Uh, I dug this piece of iron. Don't know what it is, but it's kind of interesting. It's broken off, unfortunately, but. Um, let's just look around a little bit. I can't tell how old it is yet. Well, I can tell that someone probably lived in here 50 or 80 years ago, but I don't know about how much earlier than that. And that's what we need to find out. First thing you'll notice is there's some daffodils coming up. Uh, it's springtime. That's one of the first things you see when you come around an old home site. Well, it isn't the first thing you see, but if you see daffodils, you can almost can almost guarantee there's a home site nearby or irises especially they, they're even more hardy see some chimney piles here here those bricks don't look very old though that's definitely not an old brick right there that is not an old chimney that could be you know it could be 50 or 80 but i want uh, at least 155. i want us to get back to at least the civil war era now this house could have been here during the Civil War. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I just know it was here long after it, which means it's going to be really junky. Looking around here at the pottery. Um, wow, that would have been a pretty bottle there. Pieces here, pieces there is one of my footprints where I came across. There's uh, some more stuff here. I mean, there's some older, definitely some older stuff here. So it could be... Uh, yeah, I could easily date back to the Civil War then. It just may have been repaired afterwards. Uh, there's an old building over here. It looks like a little barn. It's all falling down. I already looked in that and it has a uh, round nail. So we know that's not very old. And of course, it's concrete there. It looks like it might be a cistern there. Let's go look at that. Newer bottles, but they could have been dumped by anybody. Not just a groundhog hole. 
don't see any old cork top bottles yet we'll go here and dig around just a little bit though right around the ah, rabbit <laughs> little rabbit just ran out from under here went right in front of me a uh, cottontail peter rabbit and uh I'll, I'll dig around here a little bit with the machine if i find anything of interest i'll show it to you if i see any we'll dig in some of this black dirt see what kind of pottery we can find all right get back to it i'll cover this hole and look there's a bunch of daffodils over here too i'll get that hole filled in as soon as i turn the camera off just take a quick somebody's been digging here already it's an old dig hole there's some little daffodils getting ready to bloom they'll probably be blooming within a week or two all right filled the hole in and walked over here you can see that's where that person someone was digging look they just left the junk right on the surface bad 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 but anyway yeah this hole's all through here look at this looking for um older looking stuff in there but i'm not really seeing any but i uh, see quite a few dig holes and some even older dig holes don't have real high hopes i'm going to give it about 15 minutes and then we're going to keep on moving find something less conspicuous because everybody can see this obviously this has been a really tough property. I'm just not finding anything non-ferrous, like shotgun shells or rifle casings or belt buckles or gold coins. It's really, really frustrating. It's a beautiful spot too. Just dug half a horseshoe. And since that's all I'm finding is stuff like this, I figure I might as well show it to you. That's quite deep. I don't know. I mean, this place has been hunted. I'm seeing some old dig holes, but nothing like, not a lot of old dig holes. So maybe just nothing here. I mean, that does happen good location though i'm so so surprised Whew. all right let's get back at it you see there's a tent set up over there in the woods probably a homeless camp we not too far from a railroad track so um, there was a camp well we saw you may have seen i may have showed you the clip earlier that i went through that's probably another one it actually looks like it's probably abandoned you see there's a couple camps down through there too they're definitely abandoned just piles of trash um, let's go check it out. Make sure there's no dead people in it. Is there anyone in the tent? Speak up or I'll have to open it. Last chance. Probably not been lived in for a little while. See, it's kind of wet in there, and um, this doesn't look like anybody's been here for a little while at least. We'll zip it back up. I always check these things because, uh, well, I just want to make sure it's not like someone dead in there. It has happened <laughs> quite often, in fact. In fact, they just found a body uh, not too far from where I live, uh, just off the road where someone had was parked along the door. I actually saw the vehicle there for days, uh, and apparently it had been there for weeks. And when they went to do a, a check on it. Uh, there's a dead guy not far from it so that's why i always check these things out just to make sure don't need any kids going in there and finding them you know let's go check these old ones out over here see what we got it could just be from other years i guess we're not too far from uh, town so i guess they can probably hike out again it's probably a very, very safe place for them These are at least several years old. These two. Don't see any long bones sticking out, do you? Same way over here. Mm. No, no skulls, no bones. All right, well, if we see any more, we'll explore them. Um, I'll be just as happy if we don't see any more. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's get back at it. Well, I guess we're a little closer to the town than I thought we were. This is a weird place, and we're getting ready to hear a troll train. Do you hear it? I can actually see it going along there. I can probably see it too. It was blowing the, the horn earlier, but I guess there's no crossings up here. I don't know what this place is, man. It's weird looking. Looks like an old brick, though. One old brick, a lot of trash. Let's look at this stuff over here. This looks very interesting. 
well not really interesting but just kind of weird is that plastic another homeless camp up there see it kind of right in the middle we might poke our heads over that direction if there's anybody in it we won't mess with it though um i don't know what these things are weird what a weird place this is <laughs> Walk over here a little bit close to that other tent just for the heck of it. Um, yeah, let's do that. Just got slapped across the face with some briars. I don't lose my eye on that one. anybody uh, it's probably abandoned too look like the uh, tarps hanging down there's somebody living in it they'd keep that up keep from getting wet there's a trail right here look at that before it heads into the town Just checking on you. Anyone there? Let's go over and take a look. I thought I saw the tent move, but no one answered me. Welfare check here. Everybody okay? Please answer. I'll have to open the door. The door. Tell the water is um, in all the tarps. No one's been here for a while. I don't think it's his kids. I'm gonna have to open it up. Keep your hands where I can see them. Yeah, okay, that looks fine. I don't see any dead people in there. Actually, might this one's been lived in not too long ago. They haven't been here for a while because you can see the water is here. This should be up on top. Wouldn't be full of water if that was the case. Uh, no fresh footprints. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm almost afraid to look in there. Hey, but <laughs> I don't like anybody in there. I saw something move. There's something in there. bodies here either so all right let's get back to the woods do our thing it's kind of weird it looks like it was not long abandoned there's no fresh footprints coming into it all right let's go I find my uh, metal detector what I do with it <laughs> set it down so in case I had to fight somebody with trouble I don't have a sidearm on me today Oh, the dirt over here. I thought I'd check it out and I saw a skull. Is it human? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, look at the cage. That's a, uh, that's a uh, deer, a buck. This one antler's been chewed off by mice or something. Squirrels, perhaps. Uh, let's get out of this place. Man, this is all junk. Uh, we'll get back up in the woods where hopefully we'll uh, find some stuff. I know it's been a really peaked day so far, but at least we've seen a few things of interest. At least I have. That looks a little scary. What do you think that is? I think that's a skull? A human skull? God. It's off around though, doesn't it? I'm just looking at that yucky, mucky stuff all around. I don't know what that thing is. 
It's like oil or grease, body grease that melted out of a corpse. Poke it with a stick. Ready? Nah, that's hard. But, uh, oh, like, oh, that is grease. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. See, here I was thinking it was grease out of a corpse. And, uh, and it's actually just a big ball of, like, lithium grease. I don't know what the hard thing is, though, there. Weird. <laughs> Had a little pitter pack going there, I guarantee it. Especially around all these homeless camps. This is a weird place. I'm not sure what happened here. I don't know if this was a dump that they pushed around or it's a lot of trash back here. Some more of those plastic things. Oh, this is weird, isn't it? <laughs> kind of scary, actually. I'm definitely not going to uh, detect in here, metal detect in here. I wonder what they were doing. Why they did this? There's even dirt piled all the way up over here. I think once we get past these piles, it looks like we're getting back into natural woods again. At least I hope so. Looks more natural up here. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's where it ends right there. I wonder why they dumped all the dirt in there. Well, that doesn't look natural either, does it? That berm. Okay, well, I'm gonna get back to digging. And uh, there's an old brick there, so maybe we're close to something. Piece of an old one, that's definitely an old brick. There's an old home site up here on this hill. That'd be sweet. Let's look for it. I'm up to the edge of it like a subdivision over there now. Going up this trail and I think there's something in this box. I kicked it. Hope there's not a fetus. No, there's nothing. Except water. A lot of junk up through here. I was hoping maybe there would be an old home up here or something. A foundation. But I'm not finding anything. And those dogs are there's some big dogs down there. So I kind of hustled away from that area. Look, you can see how they're pushing all the dirt and stuff around, all the equipment's over there. And I just dug my first bullet. It's a fired bullet, and it's not Civil War. It's a 4570, so it could be 100 years old, but it's not 155. <laughs> Plus, keep, that's actually the first, like, chunk of lead that I found today, and I've been out for about four hours now. Absolutely amazing. Just found this weird little tag. Looks like it says Jefferson High School, which is where I went to high school. Never seen anything like this though. It's uh, aluminum or something. What is that? Jefferson High School, April 30th. <laughs> it's probably, I guess it must, well, never say goodbye. 88. Wow. That's almost brand new, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you stuck myself in the eye with the mud. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's a little memento for my old high school. 88. I was, uh, that's the year I got married, I believe. Yeah, so hey, I got out of uh, Jefferson in 81, so. Cool, I'll keep it. Well, it's gonna have to wrap up this peaked little hunt. Um, it's getting late in the evening, I gotta go home. My best find was the uh, 1988 Jefferson High School wanted, admit one ticket to something, probably prom, so. Uh, it was a fun little hike though. I hope you enjoyed it, because I did. Just wish we'd find, found something old, but maybe next time. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the 